Good morning. It is the end of June, and you know what this means. Football season is almost on the horizon. And today, I am going to be doing an experiment for the upcoming NFL season on PlayoffPredictors.com. This is interesting, and I just really want to see what ends up happening when this is all said and done. PlayoffPredictors.com lets you make projections for the NFL season right now. You can pick every single NFL game for the year as in terms of who's going to win or lose each individual game. But you can also project that a game will end in a tie. So this gets me to my next point. I want to do a projection of the 2021 NFL season where the entire season results in tied games like I'm serious, like, I want to see what happens if every single NFL game ended up in a tie, who would end up making the playoffs? Now, I know there is a 0% chance of this ever happening, but this website allows you to explore that scenario, so today, that's what we're going to be diving into. And another thing, don't ever ask me to do this on Madden NFL 22 when the game comes out, because I know of a man who once did this experiment on Madden when it was still a 16-game season a year or two ago, and he said it took him well over two days to play every single game on Madden, even with just one-minute quarters, to try out the experiment. And I'm not taking that much time, so that's why I'm trying this on here. So here we are with week one. Typically, you just click on the team that you think is going to win a game, like... For example, that's how you do it, but you can hit equals if you think the game is going to end in a tie, and that is what we are going to do for every single NFL game of the 2021 regular season. I'm going to see what happens if all these games end up in a tie. And it's going to be like this for all 18 weeks. So, there we go. We just finished up week one. Every single game is tied. Can you just imagine if this game ends in a tie right here, Buccaneers Patriots week four? Because, yes, that's the day Brady returns to New England as a Tampa Bay Buccaneer. And this is going to probably be the most watched regular season NFL game of all time. I am guessing that right now. And just imagine if, if that game ends in a tie. It would be horrible because that's not what anyone wants. We want to see if Brady can either beat his former team or if his former team can just, you know, end up beating him. I am a pretty big Chicago Bears fan. I always want the Bears to beat the Packers no matter how good or bad the team is. That Those are the two games I always want to see them win and I get pretty happy seeing the Bears beat the Packers. And I also get very angry when I see the Packers beat the Bears. And I think if a Bears-Packers game ends in a tie, I'd get pretty angry. So, in this case, I am going to end up being pretty angry because I can't allow the Bears to win. They have to tie the Packers here. And in Week 9, we have four previous Super Bowl matchups. Packers-Chiefs, Broncos-Cowboys, Patriots-Panthers, and then Times-Rams, of course, and... Some of those games were pretty good Super Bowls, like the Patriots, Panthers, Times, Rams, and the other two were forgettable. But either way, those games have no had no chance of ending in a tie when those games kicked off. In this case, these Super Bowl rematches have to end up being tied and giving the result that was impossible to see in their Super Bowl matchup. And we all know what happened in Super Bowl 51, but in this case right here, no team can blow a lead because... The Patriots-Falcons game has to end up being tied. Yes, it has to, so don't worry, Falcons fans. You can't spoil this late against the Patriots. Okay, so we're now already all the way into week 12 of the NFL season. Every team has played at least 10 games, and every single game has been tied for every single team. And let's just say that my good chunk of friends who are Republicans, by this point of the season, they would be done with the NFL because it would be too much like socialism. Because 
every team's been doing the same so far, and the Republican friends I've got, they would never be able to stand it. <laughs> and in this world, we had another tea to Thanksgiving when all three Thanksgiving games had to end up in teas because we had the ties to Thanksgiving this year. It's funny how Blue Bunny is saying stick it to boredom here because... This whole NFL season would be an entire run of boredom if every single team just keeps tying games every single week. That is the truth right there. And again, I have to have to have the Bears just tie the Packers again, much to my dismay. Well, we've hit week 16. This means it is the time for the Christmas games and... All people would want by this point is just for an NFL team to win a game. But that can't happen. We can't give them for Christmas. Santa can't even give them for Christmas in this world because Colts Cardinals and then Browns versus Packers on Christmas Day have to be tied games here. And the thing is, nobody can really tell you how the playoff picture is going to be because with all the teams having the same record every single week after the weekends, it they just jump right over the place with everything and the playoff picture is just so unclear heading into the final two weeks of the season it's pretty comical <laughs> all right i finally got it all done all 32 nfl teams finished the 2021 regular season with an 0 and 17 record every single team was 500 and every single game was tied now i don't know who on earth would end up making the playoffs if this were to ever happen. Which, I know it will never happen, but anyways, I can't tell you what team has got a playoff spot, what team doesn't, because all 32 teams have the same record and they didn't win a game, neither did they lose a game. They tied all the games. So, let's go find out right now. Alright, so this is the wild card weekend, um... Oh, whoa, Bengals, Jaguars. Okay, that was random. Um, Seahawks, Saints, Eagles, Cardinals, Cowboys, Giants. We got the ones. Oh, you're kidding me! The system gave the Packers the league's best record, and they gave the Bears the worst record by somehow in the system. And, ah, I should have known. The league was going to favor the Chiefs anyways and give them the number one seed in the AFC again. I mean, how they came up with those playoff seedings, I don't know. I mean, that is just very, very random, I guess, because every NFL team was exactly tied. And it's not like it's just like last year's playoff seedings, it's... There's some playoff teams from last year, and there's some non-playoff teams from last year that got the spots when the season was all tied. So, I don't know how this happened, but anyways, um, let's try to figure out who would end up winning the Super Bowl here. Okay, so in a season where every single team ended up tying a game, there would be no way to project who would win a playoff game. So, let's just randomize the playoffs from here, see it all goes. Okay, and... Ah, huh, that's odd. Uh, now, all of a sudden, it's a 7 and 14 seed, and... Okay, this is, um, a little interesting here. Um, I mean, why are the Chiefs all of a sudden a 15 seed? They were literally just a 1 seed just the previous week, and... There's not more than seven teams a conference. We can't have, like, 11 seeds, 8 seeds. It's not possible, but... Anyways, let's randomize the divisional round, and... Alright, at least the Packers didn't get a spot in the conference championship, but... It's going to be a Jets versus Chiefs AFC championship game. <laughs> and the Jets somehow got the one seed ahead of the Chiefs somehow. When the Chiefs were literally the one seed a few weeks ago. And this would be very bizarre. Because there's no way the Jets could beat the Chiefs in the AFC Championship game. Right now at least. But let's randomize it and... 
It's going to be a Chiefs versus Saints Super Bowl. Jameis Winston, despite tying all year long, brings himself to Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. And who wins the Super Bowl here? The Saints do. So, Sean Payne finds a way to win his second Super Bowl despite not being able to win a game the whole year. And Jameis Winston gets over the hump and cements himself as a Super Bowl champion if every NFL game ends up being tied this year. And now all of a sudden, after the Super Bowl, look at this. The Bears are the four seed and somehow got a playoff spot that they couldn't even get. How does this happen? But anyways, I thank you all for watching today. I appreciate your time. Go hit the like button and I hope you really enjoyed this video. This is something I really wanted to test out and I appreciate you for making it to the end if you made it this far. Thank you. And if we can get 500 views on this video within the, ne the next seven days, next week I will upload a video doing another experiment on PlayoffPredictors.com for this NFL season. And it will be what if the whole NFL season is randomized where I just randomize every single week just like I did for the playoffs.